This is the legendary Blackie Campbell right here. This is the guy we're gonna see. And I know he's in here. Hello. I, I knew you was in here. Hey, man, hey what's going on? Now. How you doing, man? I'm hey, doing man. fine. How's the wife? There she oh, is back fine, over there. Man. There she is. I gotta hug her, you know that. You know that. Let me give you a hug, Miss Manny. Well, how you doing? What are we cooking here? We got some good food? <laughs> I've been knowing Blackie Campo and them for a long, long time. And uh, they're wonderful people, they're friendly people. Uh, you come down here, they, they treat you real kind. Uh, they have fuel and bait and all kind of stuff for people to, to help out people. They lived here, they're native of St. Bernard for a long time and, and they're just wonderful people. And uh, they're here to stay and they're, they're not going nowhere and they're living without a home right now in a trailer. And um, they still, Night or day, they they willing to help you, and uh, they have helped us night and day, you know. And it's nice knowing people like that. We're gonna be married in September, 66 years. We got a great family. We got 15 great grandkids, and we've been, you know, this is our livelihood. This is our living. We've been living here all our lives, you know. I'm 88 years old, and I and I was born here, and. I took my first breath in, I want to take my last one. We always say it's God's country, you know what I mean? Because everybody that I, everybody that ever done any fishing in their life came here at one time or another. You know, they, they, they fished out of our place here. You know, we, I don't know, we, we just like the Rock of Gibraltar, you know what I mean? We, and, uh, and we're going to be here. We, we here now and we're going to stay here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him the hose to put in his boat, you know, the nozzle, to, and then I'll turn the, the meter back and put the valve on and then he'll fill his tank up, take whatever he needs. On this side, the, and Mr. Go, I've been doing this since uh, 1960. But I've been in the business 70, 70 some more years, you know. Well, Blackie and Mabel, they, they are real good people and nobody, everybody looks up to them and they respect it through this whole community. Not just by the commercial fishermen, but also by the sports. You know, everybody looks up to them. We intend to, to come back and come back strong. You know, we're not, we're not going to be a fly by night deal. The man is 88 years old and he's still going strong. Strong as a ox. I mean, strong. he works hard. He, he never wore strong. shoes when he was young in his life. Right. He used to play baseball and he used to play barefooted. Barefooted. Huh? Barefooted. How you like that? <laughs> but now he's got tender feet. He can't do that anymore. He can't do no. that anymore. <laughs> How, how about Miss Mabel? She, she, did, was that your first love? I mean, was that? Yep. That, that was your that, first love, huh? Well, that, that was my only girlfriend. Uh huh. Never had another one. Right. And you, and you met her like playing ball or something? Playing baseball. And she's been she's been taking care of you. She was since? always hollering that I'm gonna strike out. Oh, she was trying to dog you. <laughs> but I didn't strike out with her. No way, yeah. I just struck out at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> and you hit a home run, huh? <laughs> I guess every storm you worried about. Yes, because he always did stay. He but did. this time it was such a severe one that we knew how bad it was. Mm -hmm. And then uh, <clears throat> we had no knowledge of where they were for four days. What year did you get married? In? Why you want to ask me I want to know what year Why you got you married. Want, I want to know if they had a church down here. They had a church down here? Yeah, well, in St. Bernard. Right. So, yeah. Well, you in St. Bernard, would you have to go up the road? Yeah. Yeah? But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that far. It's uh, right there in Toka. Yeah, right there in Toka. Yeah, I know what it's at. Yeah, church like, there. Good. I just wanted to try to, you know, figure out how many years is that. That's how you take your marriage life, honey, a day at a time. I need you that be good advice. to your wife and let her be good to you when you well, make it. You 25 make years, I've been taking it. If you made 25 years, you'll make 25 more. You think so? Oh, yes. I hope so. Yeah. I know Frank, <laughs> I know Frank and I'll never make 25 more. I hope we get a few more. You're going to get a few more. I don't know. Yeah, you're going to get a bunch more. <laughs> you, you still love after 67 years? No question in the world. No question. Me no. too. I, at the 25 years with my wife, I could say, you know what? I still love her. And everybody says, 
Blackie Campbell, Blackie Campbell, Blackie Campbell, and and, yeah. and each of them have their own little story. How he, he's he's a guy out here that gives inspiration. He has gives. helped everybody out here, and I, and I think that the people out here really uh, love him. They love no, him. No, yes, they do. Yeah, Blackie and Mabel, they mean everything to the people down here. Everybody loves them. And, uh, It hurts to see that, that what they gotta live in right now, you know. It's terrible. But they up in the age now, no black, you gotta be over 80. He's still getting around. It's a tough old book, I know that. Man, as soon as I walked in the trail, I smelled the food. See, my wife does the same thing. She cooks for me, she does my, you know, I ain't never washed a batch of clothes in my life. Hey, I would not have, I would not have used a wash and dry. Hey, I never put a diaper on none of the kids. She wouldn't Maybe. let me, she said, I'm gonna take them. Miss, Miss Mabel, you, you do remind me of my wife so much because I got married at 16 years old and I went to work for the first Popeye's fried chicken in Arabic. And you know why you remind me of my wife? My wife wanted to come home so bad she says, I don't mind this little FEMA trailer that we'll be in. Just make sure I got my wash and my dryer that I can wash and dry my clothes. And I got another refrigerator so we can put some food because we don't have a grocery store. Other than that, let's go back home. When people talk about their livelihood and we interview them and we talk to them and they tell us this is it right here. This is where they come. They, they yeah. live, they look, they, it's like they live on the water. Yeah. And once you have that in your blood, it's hard to get out. I don't think you can. You don't get it out. You don't get it out. No. No. But you're not going anywhere. This is your problem. Oh, I'm not leaving here. No way. No, 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 no. no. I couldn't live in, 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 in a congested area. We're so used to being, uh, oh, I'd say free. Mm -hmm. well, I don't have to worry about my doors being locked. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? I can right. walk outside. I walk out there and I was out night and check things. Mm -hmm. I'm not a bit afraid. Never was. They told me you got a brand new one. Yeah. And I'm going to put this in a case of the wildlife of fisheries and put Frank Black Campo on there, historical hat. How you like that one? Yeah, boy, uh, that, that's what it is. This is 40 years of uh, yeah, out that, there in a boat. That's what it is. And what, the summer, I mean, beat it up? Yeah, something yeah. beat it up. Look at that. Does that look good on me or what? You know, there's a lot of life. You know what I mean? The, the water is just full of life. And uh, and that's what makes it real good. Hey, you got some ball shrimp right here? You got crabs and ball shrimp? I'm gonna try some ball shrimp right here. I'm real willing to stay there and if anything happens, another storm, well, we just go with the plan B. <laughs> you know? If I'd have knew married life was going to be this good to me, I'd have married her five years sooner. <laughs> well, maybe that's why I did my, my, my I got married yeah, a little early, you know, because yeah, yeah. it was good to me. Yeah, I did. I if I knew you. that, if I knew married life was going to be this good yeah. to me, I'd have married her five years five sooner. Years. I yeah. love you.